Apparently, the new biography of the king, Charles III, new king, new court, is going to be a rip-roaring set of revelations, but what more can it possibly reveal than the amount being trailed in uh, stuff like the Daily Mail? So one of the things that is coming out now is apparently the late Queen was incensed when Harry and Meghan claimed that she had given her blessing to their daughter being named Lilibet. Uh, apparently she was as angry as anyone had ever seen her and uh, that um, uh, she had not been supportive about them using her nickname. Uh, the couple even apparently, uh, that's Meghan and Harry, even apparently ordered their own lawyers shillings to write to broadcasters to refute any um, claims being made by the BBC and so on that uh, this was not um, uh, an acceptable name and so on. But the Sussexes' uh, attempts to co-opt the palace, apparently, into propping up their version of events were rebuffed. And a ab abso absolutely fascinating uh, story, but... I don't remember reading that the Queen was annoyed about the choice of the name. And and in the end, in the end, this is about uh, parents and about their child and, uh, and the wider family, in a sense, is, is a secondary issue. And this level of tittle-tattle which is coming out, I'm, I'm sure... It's the sort of thing that is calculated to sell the book, but I don't think, I don't think it does anybody any credit. And you have to ask where where are these stories coming from? Um, as ever, the attempt to smear uh, Prince Harry and Meghan in order to prop up other members of the royal family just doesn't work in today's age. Uh, today's newspapers are only too happy to see uh, to see smearing going on in every possible quarter. It's like <clears throat> it's like a bucket load of vomit, and uh, it doesn't really matter. You, uh, smearing one person doesn't stop another person being smeared. This uh, tit for tat uh, gentleman's agreement no longer works. Smears go everywhere, so I don't, I, I don't see, and I think the palace is fully aware of that. So I think this is uh, some individual's own personal opinion, and I don't think this is a reflection of reality. It's a way to sell a newspaper, and today it's um it's an attack on Prince Harry, uh, and on the choice of a name. Tomorrow it will be something else. And very little of it, I suspect, has much of an anchor in real truth. The anchorage is limited. And, uh, and, and, and there's, there's, there's also a point in the, in the book where um, it talks about the king's being hurt by Harry's actions but um, he's learnt to compartmentalise domestic trauma. He feels exasperation over the situation. He's done what he can, but now he is king. There are many more things to think about. However, he insists the door is always open to his younger son. You'd always like your child back, says a senior official. I hope so. I hope so.